this is Stockton and if you're interested in technology news in Africa and beyond then this is the right channel for you to subscribe. So today we are here to talk about Omefe again. I know we have talked a lot about Omefe for now but there was this interview from the CEO and chairman of Unicorn Group of Companies on Arise News and a lot was talked about. And one of the things that we want to talk about today is the price of Omefe, the physical humanoid robot. From the interview they said that they are going to launch different products from her but one of it will be the humanoid physical robot which might come maybe very late on because they're supposed to make version 2.0 to be much better not like the current one. But what he said from the interview is that the robot will be going at 30,000 US dollars which I want you to watch this interview then uh, you can let me know what you think in the comment section. So uh, we have given the different words like like uh, starting if we're talking about the humanoid uh, starting from uh, uh, 30,000 dollars. So what we have today uh, is uh, a multi-purpose and assistance so to show her robustness and she's very intelligent but there will be use case scenarios like for example the automobile industry the bank so we'll design to tell her to the, the military as well the security agents there's a lot they can reap from uh Omefe in terms of intelligence gathering robo army you know and uh for example uh, anti-vandalism, you know, our pipelines and some uh, key uh, infrastructure can be guided uh, without human life just going down, down the way for that. So, so currently they're saying that it will be going at 30,000 US dollars. According to you, do you think that is a lot of money or cheap? Because if you consider other humanoid robots, let's say like Amica that we have talked about before on the channel, Amica is going at 133,000 US dollars, which is like more expensive than uh, more expensive than Omefe. So also, of course, there is that as aspect of considering the cost of production of the robot, which might at the end be able to dictate the price that you're able to sell your robot at. If you consider Amica and Omefe, they are a little bit different at the moment, but of course version 2.0 of Omefe will be coming out soon and maybe it will be much better. And like the CEO of Unicorn Group of Companies said that for Omefe everything was made in Africa. I mean everything was made in Africa and specifically in Nigeria. Nothing about her was imported so which again might be the reason why the cost of production is a little bit lower compared to the likes of Amica. But there was a lot about that interview that we will be able to talk about later on like the type of batteries that she is using and they are also talking about developing another type of battery that can be able to recharge itself so we will also be able to look into that and you want to subscribe so that you'll be able to stay informed and updated anytime that we upload a new on your content that is related to technology in Africa.